Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Hi, guys. Um, can I can I be your friend? Um, can I can I write on your wall? No. Will you be my friend? Hmm. But I, I write on all my friends' walls. I think I'd have to know you before I was your friend. All my friends have got like 180 friends. I've only got two. Yeah. Would it help if maybe like you looked at my photos? No, that one's uh, with two like really pretty girls. Like you know, that's my ex. You know, I was in a relationship with her, but you know, I've changed my status now. Okay. Yeah. What's your relationship status? Um, single. Oh, good. Yeah. Cool. I like that. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. I like your jacket. Thank you. I like your sunglasses. Do you like that? Yeah. Do you want to comment on it? <laughs> I like your Ray Bans. Could I poke you? Ooh. Poke? Ooh. Poke? Ooh. No? Uh, no. What, poke? Ooh. What, you want to poke? Can I poke you? Yeah, you can poke me if you want. Yeah. I mean, how am I... No, no, dude, dude, seriously, just be my friend. If I just show you these pictures in this photo album... <laughs> What's your name on Twitter? Mark the label. Uh, so you use Twitter? Yeah. I'm going to follow you. Okay. Cool, cool. Well, I'm going to follow you. Right, okay. Wicked, cool. Right. All right, thanks a lot. Nice one. Thanks, okay. guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Okay. Wicked. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Wicked. Okay. All right, thank you. That's okay. great. Wicked. <laughs> thanks. thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. I'm following you. <laughs> Should we <not? laughs> Okay. Okay. Should we go or? <laughs> yeah, recognize that. Yeah. Hi, as I was saying, we joined the carnival. Um, or the founders of Joining Carnival. We, we uh, work to combine business um, innovation and um, culture, really, to, to create strong relationships with our consumers. Um, my name is Patrick, and um, this is Peter. Very happy to be here. So, first of all, we're about all that are attending SIME probably want to know how do we make marketing click in the online arena. For, for first of all, we need to start looking at media, and media per se is not social by itself, but we're entering a very social place. So, just like the scenario where you get into the bar, you ain't get gonna be social by yourself, so you start working. You need to find those important social objects that you can connect with your consumers on. And as I was talking about before as well, I mean, you know, there's so a variety of people around following diff, um, various interests, right? And these are the people that we really want to connect with. Um, the more similar we are, as um, David Tyman is saying, um, uh, the more invisible we, be, we become. Uh, the most important thing in marketing today is to find a social glue. Uh, what can connect you with each consumer and each and every person? Marketing today is not really talking to a lot of people. It's about talking, creating conversations with individuals. And uh, like your example with the King's Club, <laughs> do you have a tattoo? Uh, it's really to understand that marketing is, marketing is not about selling stuff when it comes to a marketing perspective. Because what we want to do, people don't want to follow a logo. They don't want to be friends, usually, with your brand. So you need to find out things that they like, the culture, what they want to do, what this preference in life, what's the situation. So it never, ha never before has been more important to understand situation and context, because we live in the attention economy where we need to find new ways of having people listen to what we have to say. 
So um, what we're trying to do, at least with our clients, and, and today we work with Reebok and, and Securitas Direct and a few others around in Europe and the world, uh, is really to, to make them become incredible. Um, advertising has too long been about um, an introverted process where where brands have been looking at their own pro uh, products and services and basically pushing them down someone's throat. So um, it's all about thick value. It's all about giving something, give each and every person a, a, an, an amazing experience, something that can add something to their everyday lives. It's like small details, right? We're all, we don't really appreciate advertising or we're not really interested in it, really. We're inter interested in lives and things that makes us click. So um, um, on that note, we... Um, we of have course, yeah. yeah. We would like to speak more about uh, it, but we're going to have some questions, I guess. So, but we have a summary in a paper that you can download if you want to. Facebook.com slash Yeah, that which covers uh, social marketing and um, the personal process in, in advertising. And social marketing is a very good cue for the next speaker. <laughs> Take yeah. a seat, guys. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's it's uh, from 20. How many uh, are part of, of uh, 20 here? Ah, you're too old, guys. Sebas Muriel, please join the stage. Very welcome. Hey, how are you? you Sit down. And Alex, are you here? Alex from Let's Bonus. <laughs> hey, Alex, very welcome. <laughs> hey, Alex. I remember during the dot-com boom, boom, we had yes. a company called Let's Buy It, no. and it was using okay. exactly the same logic, but 10 years too early. Yeah. Was, that was too early. Too early. They, so missed, they missed the moment. We missed the moment. I got gray hair. You got a great company. <laughs> That's unfair. So this, it's, it's not sort of, this is one side, it's the agency guys. <laughs> this is one guy, he's the media. He owns 2&T or runs 2&T, and then you, you're the guy buying the advertising. So I'm if sure. these guys are full of shit, you say, no, 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 that doesn't work. This is how it works. I'm the buyer. Okay, so starting out, social marketing and social media. Tell us a little about uh, uh, your perspective from 2&T. Yeah, well, we think that the internet is changing a lot, as we see all, all this morning. We think that the internet is, is no doubt, is social right now is mobile and is going to be local, more local than it is right now. It's of course a global phenomenon, but we think that uh, local as a concept, to be close to the people that you really care about, to be close to the places you are close, your favorite things, is going to be work more in, in, in terms of relevant content. So we'll how, how could a campaign look that you can do but that a traditional media cannot do? Yeah, I think that we can connect with the people. I mean, not, not us, but the people itself. People are connecting, they are sharing their experience in the internet in the experience. We need to, to bring relevant content to all these people because they are seeing noise, a lot of noise on the internet and also, of course, in the traditional media. And think uh, of uh, the users. I mean, think of everyone. Uh, we are every day uh, using a lot of pl different platforms okay, to do different things in terms of communication. We're using a lot of the application that you mentioned, Ola. We use uh, some others, most that one we believe, like WhatsApp or BlackBerry Messenger or even the cell phone, okay? And we have to uh, battle for each second of our users to use our platform and the brands, I guess, that uh, you all want, you know, to, to reach that second, which is emotional, important for our user, okay? And I think that the social networks can do that and not other media, because you are doing what you want, whatever you want, whatever you want, okay? And so, so if you're a marketeer, so uh, tell us a little bit about Let's Bonus for the ones that might not know yet. Okay, um, well, let, let's ask them. I mean, who does know about Let's Bonus here? Let's Bonus, raise a hand. Oh, not bad, not bad. Okay, who does know about Groupon? Okay. <laughs> but we are beating Groupon here in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that. Okay. So Groupon, it's a Let's Bonus clone from the US, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Um, okay, Let's Bonus is a social shopping uh, company, online social shopping company. Um, first thing is that uh, we started uh, early September 2009. And we've been, you know, the, the early mover in this sector in, in Spain. And it has given us a really great, big, big advantage in terms of learning really how, how does this little game works. 
It's just about getting subscribers, getting great product, and sending a newsletter every day. Just making this mix every day and making it more efficient every time. But how do you market? What are the sort of, what are the sort of uh, tricks that you've learned during these two years? Because <laughs> you've been growing very fast and it's a very competitive space. So if you're, how do you make your marketing click? Okay, um, <coughs> I'm not quite sure. I, I, still, I, I do belong to the advertiser side. Uh, because one year ago I was on that side. Okay. Um, and 90% of my team comes from that side. So basically we've built a, a team of marketing uh, I mean, employees, but they, are, they all come from media marketing agencies and creative advertising agencies. And that's what we do. We use uh, all kinds of tools. I mean, everything that we know in, in the online environment, from social media to email marketing, display ads, AdWords, everything. Everything we know, we do that, and we get huge amounts of subscribers every week. I mean, huge. In all countries, everywhere. Every but time. what, if you, if, if you were the... It's no secret. <laughs> you just tell three things that you would really, really always do when you think about online marketing that these guys can take with them when they go home and market? Um, okay, this, is, this is a very, I mean, uh, talking about Let's Honest is a very simple model, okay? Just about subscribers. But if we talk about online marketing in general, um, what I've always done is starting, you know, step by step, making things very, very easy. I, I, I understand you all agree with that. You cannot start a big, big portal making, you know, thinking oh, about all the things that people would love to do. We just start by doing things step by step. It's like opening a bar. I always use this as an example. You start a bar, at first you just do breakfast. You just give coffee and donuts. Then if it works, you move on to lunch. And then you add croissants or you add, add more things. That, that's what an e-commerce should be. That's what I understand it in, in a, you know, step-by-step -step approach. And how, how important is measuring? How often do you measure and how do you measure in, in sort of what works and so forth in, in Let's Bonus? Oh, we measure almost everything. That's, that's the good part of it. Um, we, we get lots of subscribers. We track them in, you know, everything they do. Where do they come from? When do they buy us? And how they did come to us? I mean, in terms of... On a I mean, weekly the, the basis moment. or on a monthly basis? Weekly or? basis. This is a very, very fast-moving uh, uh, business. So we need to track and report almost, you know, constantly. That's, I mean... What, where does that leave branding? Uh, is, is glossy dead? Is sort of creativity uh, exchange for mathematics and, and analytics? Or how do you look upon that? Um, not sure. Uh, not at all, I would say. I mean, you know, like everything else, I, you know, a shiny surface or a you know a beautiful woman or or whatever it might be right you know attract us in the first place so it's very important that you know we look at advertising and put it into segments you know we need to activate and connect with the people first right we need to get, get people to 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 we need to earn their attention really there's so many people talking or so many brands talking to consumers today as we we just been been, been hearing before and and uh, uh, you know just it's so easy to just you know um, disappear in that clutter so it has to, to us, you know, we mean that, that you need to look at advertising and marketing as a, from a slightly different angle than before, you know, out of the consumer perspective, but also from the internal organization. So you need to connect the inside with the outside, emotional with, with measurements, etc. cetera, uh, in short. So it might even be a, a better time for creatives than before. Absolutely, because uh, it's so much new opportunities. Yeah. We don't want to get, we, we can't get stuck in blinded with opportunities. We not, not need to start being adaptive to the new. So we don't we want to have these interruptive technologies in the social networks, etc. And, uh, and what, what's a non-interruptive technology? What is there advertising that people like? Or? I think if you're being relevant for them, if you can solve a problem for them, if you can tap into their social behavior, you get relevant in a completely new way. And then you have. So f from a brand perspective, you need to change the way you work and how you see and uh, does, does the media agencies get this or uh, I, I think they have a, a, f a bit more to go before they're there but uh, I, I know lots of them are actually starting working very much to to make this change because they have, have had a hard time are they stealing so the agency's business then when they got more sort of creative and more 
more sort of brand focus, or how will that, what will be an agency I mean, in I, the future? I think the competition is, is out there. To start with, Ola, you were saying, you know, us or you creatives, I think you, to start with, everyone's creative, right? So, I mean, and that's, that's the fantastic thing with being a human. So, that there's like all of us can kind of like really come up with a great idea. I showed us, you showed us some examples here, and you sit there, you're four, you know, four people, you know, running Instagram. It's amazing, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so, so, I think the competition, as we said, is everywhere. I mean, you have brands that can, you know, they, like every company is a media company today. You know, a brand can put up their own TV station online today, right? Or in like an hour and yeah, you're IKEA up and running. Yeah, IKEA is one of, one of exactly. Sweden's largest media. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so and the media and the media side has proven all the time, or media buyers have proven that you know they want in there. The PR sector, you know, are, are fighting with the the uh, uh, more technologically and, and and traditional advertising agencies, etc. And I think. We're going to see more and more of that, and, no, uh, and not the least, we're going to have more of internal um, uh, marketing structures within the brand organizations, in my well, opinion. You, you're both, uh, you're both uh, running companies that have U.S. competitors, uh, U.S. competitors that are very well funded and so forth. How do you beat these guys in the local market? What are your strengths as opposed to a Facebook? Or yeah, I, I, I would say that it's a, a very good product that has to compete with the best like Facebook, mm -hmm. for example, or and, and then some how uh, uh, strategic issues that we are uh, very very proud of. For example, in the 20s is only by invitation, it's private network. How no many are you now? Sorry. How many people are you working? On? No, no, no. Only oh, 11 people. million. 11 users. million people. Yeah, only in Spain. Private invitation only in Spain. Private 11 invitation. million. So yeah. you are not a, a network of people. It's groups of people. Yeah, it's yeah, very yeah. dense because. Uh, only, you know, people only join if y there is on someone that knows that are already speaking there. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's very important. Uh, all the information in 20 uh, keeps in 20. It's not indexed by Google. So all the information, if you want uh, to, to share, you only share with your friends, your real friends. Mm -hmm. There's only around in average 30 friends per, per people. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is not 5,000 like in Facebook, mm -hmm. which they are not your your friends, <laughs> maybe your enemies there. <laughs> so uh, that, that's some strategic points that we think that they are uh, very important to keep the relevant content mm -hmm. on the conversation. When you see your 20 feet, or for example, my Facebook or my Twitter, you know, you see less noise because it's the things yeah, yeah. that happens to the people that you really care of. Okay, so I think that this is working uh, good because here there is uh, uh, some importance on privacy, on that kind of uh, stuff, okay? And you have a lot of people. So they're more talking. like a, a, a sort of affair of thousands of people on, the, on a square somewhere, and you're more like a, a party for people that know each other. Yeah, a private party. Yes, only your, your, your very close people, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, well, we, we are doing less advertising, classic traditional advertising. We are uh, doing more creative things. Uh, for example, last, uh, last uh, Tuesday we, we launched uh, a campaign which was uh, uh, very viral. In, in fact, the, the users uh, itself, they are moving that. If you put hashtag sun, and, and you know the, the summer is coming here to Spain, uh, you are going to have a lot of fun, and you, you, if you uh, write sun, you know, and you get an icon, and after that icon, if you click that, you go to the uh, page of an advertiser, which mm -hmm. is beer, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. But the, the people is, is, is proud of sun, is proud of summer, is, they like, mm -hmm. they are sharing, and you know, we are getting more than six million suns already. So the brand wow. is, you know, it's, uh, come on, <laughs> this is working. And it's not a banner, it's not a display, it's, it's just a movement, social movement. People is proud of, you know, having fun, and this brand has, you know, get that, uh, in fact, they are, they are hitting a big impact without disturbing mm -hmm. the customer, the user. And I think no, because that if you have a private idea. party, you can't just stop, uh, stop the music and say, did you know that this yeah. Apple is very good or whatever? You, you, yeah. you have to sort of do it that, in a different way. That doesn't work. Way. I mean, uh, users, especially younger ones, we are analyzing the, the, the kind of use they use. Uh, of, uh, you know, uh, we, we're doing segmentation on, on the age. And, and the younger ones, they filter all that information. They are not seeing yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. TV, they are not seeing newspapers, they're not looking at media, even digital. They're just uh, sharing their experience with their friends. So if the brand does not much emotionally connect with them in this kind of, of interactive uh, way, they, they are not doing anything. I mean, they can spend so a lot of money without any impact. 
So mo moving over uh, to, 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 to Las Bonas, Groupon has been the most successful business model in bring, building sales fast, the first company ever to reach $100 million and so forth. Uh, and it's growing everywhere. I was in Greece where they had <coughs> 70 companies that either have launched or will launch a Groupon competitor. Still, you guys, you step up the plate and you challenge them. Uh, I, yesterday I read on Twitter that in Brazil there were like 1,400 competitors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, we are seeing, uh, you know, the small players starting to close now in, in Spain. Okay, we've already had some cases uh, like this. Could you just correct the mic a little bit like this? Yeah. So I'll, I'll try to do it. Like this? Like this, much better, I think. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I think this works. Okay, just a couple of things. Um, as of today, uh, Let's Bonus is in a joint venture with Living Social. Yeah. This is, okay, but for the first part, uh, how do we manage to beat Groupon for this last year? Um, this was a very it was a very simple decision. Um, Groupon really was looking for um, a general uh, approach, looking, being wanted to become massive, looking for all kinds of targets and all kinds of products. So our de decision was very easy, it was to focus. We wanted to focus on really quality products and uh, more oriented to a female target. That was our very basic approach. And it's very simple, but we did it and it worked and it's still a, a huge, uh, I mean, uh, you see a difference between us and, and Groupon right now. Do you think that it's, it's maybe a better idea to take an idea that works somewhere else and make a very strong local partner? Because you always have a buyer if you're successful, you know who to look at and so forth. Or you think that you should come up with completely new ideas? As entrepreneurs, so there are a lot of people thinking of their ideas. Should they scrap their own crazy idea and just go for something that works and build it better? Yeah. Yeah, well, in fact, that's what we are doing. I mean, we, 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 we have the ability to understand what is locally uh, taking, uh, taking more importance from our users because they are saying every day, okay, and we know what is relevant for them. So that's, that's the idea. Is, is probably we, we're uh, going to, to, to join some ideas on, on these three, three basics, social, local, and mobile, you know, to combine them and serve to our users uh, exactly the same like, like some competitors. So. What, what's going to happen in the moment, sir? Yeah, I, I don't think it's just about copying an idea. Uh, in the end, the difference is how you make it, uh, how, you make the, how you develop this idea. Um, I can see really big differences between all the Spanish players. Yeah. Um, we have, for instance, Grupalia that belongs in some part to Privalia. Of course, they had a big, big help because Privalia had already six million subscribers. They, they have one tool that we don't have. Then there was another small player uh, that used uh, partnerships because they did not have any money for advertising. So in the end, it's not just copying that idea. It's how you <laughs> how do you do that? Yeah, the idea is usually it. a very little part. Yeah, of course. Uh, what, 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 we're going to speak a lot about mobile later on. What do you think are the sort of, what, what, what does mobile mean for you? I know that 20 is very uh, active in it. I know that more and more advertisers are, are really getting serious about mobile marketing. Uh, so, so how do you look upon the mobile? Yeah, yeah, we, we've seen uh, it's growing very, very fast, of course. The users are, are using more and more smartphones. Uh, in other countries, uh, they are using feature phones, but they are using a lot to communicate one to each other. So uh, we, we believe that in the future, everything is going to be mobile. We, we in fact, uh, launched a uh, mobile operator here in Spain, uh, alternative mobile operator. It's not a traditional way of doing things in telco. It's, it's the way that you, we want to translate the social experience of our users to mobile, always on, always connected with the people you really care about. And, and, and we are trying to identify which is uh, the way of that people uh, is using uh, mobile. They are not using uh, the same, uh, the laptop, like uh, they are using the, the social uh, network in, in, in online. And I guess the challenge is, is, is how can we uh, uh, get you know, all, all the brand conversation uh, through the mobile, because it's going to be completely different on what we are seeing on, on, on desktop and laptop. What, what, are you, uh, what, sort of, what, what are the biggest opportunities in mobile? I think uh, if you look at mobile, it's all about mobility. So I think uh, companies and brands need to be more uh, open for real-time branding experience. So when you use the mobile, maybe in social networks or in contact with customer service or anything, you know, we have a store 
about 500 meters from where we are, you can, we can get you help in that location, etc. Or we know people, we're talking about trends like planned spontaneity, etc. So we can be much more niche in our communication, which builds a more, a, a bigger brand experience, better brand, brand experience. And, and what? Uh, two, two things. Um, it's, I've been like, you know, for last 10 years talking about mobile, uh, this is mobile's year, this is mobile's year. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> And, 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 and I'm, I'm serious, is this really mobile here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, um, of course it will work. I mean, we usually... Um, so if you have $100,000 to spend on marketing, how much do you spend on, on, <laughs> on mobile? My percentage of uh, visitors is 5% right now. 5%? Yeah. That's probably because yeah. I'm not giving them the right tools, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, it's really, I mean, yeah, once yeah. I give them the right tools to my users, they will come through mobile, okay? Yeah. But, um, um, we usually, that, that was a, a, yeah, the previous CEO by O2 used to say this, we usually overestimate the impact of these new technologies on the, on the short term and yeah. we underestimate the impact in the long term. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I think that's what's still happening with mobile. It, it is a, a good year for mobile, it's growing a lot. Google is pushing for that um, and, uh, and we'll go to, to mobile as well. But really, right now, my business doesn't rely on mobile. Yeah, he's, he's right. Uh, our figures is, is almost 10% of uh, the traffic mm -hmm. in, in the social is, is mobile, only 10%. Yeah. Okay, but it's racing very, very fast. And I, I think that we have to combine with the local, with people doing check-in, and we are going to be, uh, you know, to, to get the ability of, of uh, promote some things just because we know where they are, okay? Yeah, yeah. So maybe it's, it's not only mobile as an access, because you are right. I mean, uh, most of the traffic in terms of... Uh, uh, especially when we're talking of video, we are serving almost six million videos, uh, videos a day in 20, but it's not in mobile, okay? But uh, most people is, is doing checking where they are. They want very use, uh, easy use on, on, you know, in two clicks, you decide who of my friends are close. I want to talk with them by phone. I want to SMS. I want to chat. I want to, you know, just say uh, hello. So local connected so to video. When that, that happens in the mobile, there will be a lot more, yeah, more, more, more commercial I mean, opportunities. It's a very well. good experience for the user. So I guess it's opportunity for for the brands. But it's it's still, uh, as, as you told, it's still uh, small. Yeah. Yeah. So just one thing, um, my opinion may be biased here because um, I mean, Let's Bonus is working in Italy, Spain, Portugal, and in South America which, I mean, these markets are, have a completely different environment compared to the States or UK and Northern Europe, maybe. Okay, so it, it the really wine countries as opposed to the beer countries. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's more about, you know, the, the, the mobile penetration, but mm -hmm. yes, it's different. Yes. Yeah, I think just a, just a quick feeling on that. I think always when we're talking mobile as well, you know, we're following devices, right? And technology is changing our behavior. But equally, you know, depending on who you're talking to, you know, like with our clients, we always get back to what you're trying, you know, what your purpose is, right? What your 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 uh, fo um, target group is, who you're talking to. I mean, you're talking to a younger market, of course, mobile is very central. You're talking to, to a, sli a slightly older market, you know, it might not be that central, you know. So don't push your money where it isn't yet. So, you know, think carefully before you just you know following all this technology um, and all the you know the device thinking is not really it's always been changing right even from the newspapers to the TV you know and so, so I think you know mobile is a, a very very important ingredient but you know it has to kind of like be applied correctly to your business model mm -hmm. so that's a very important thing that a lot of brands are missing you know in the, the race rush in because exactly. it's trendy and then they don't get the results exactly and then they, they leave it because they don't get the results so We'll speak a lot more about mobile here today. What I would like you to do is to speak now, and I want you to speak to the person next to you. Uh, start out by saying, hi, I'm always a good start. And then you talk to the person next to you and just reflect for two minutes on some of the things that the gentleman here have been speaking about and what I was uh, taking you through in our journey of digital opportunities. So please, start up now. Just say hi to your neighbor and thank the panel first. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.